Hey guys, my name's Doug with obdgenie.com. Today we're in the Jeep Wrangler with the MyGig uh, touchscreen radio. This looks very familiar to a lot of you. Basically what we want to do today is we want to enable Bluetooth. So you'll notice some of these radios will have a phone button, some of them won't. Basically here at OBD Genie, we offer a plug and play solution to install a Bluetooth kit so you can have hands free while driving via your phone. In this particular case, we have a vehicle that is not programmed and not equipped with Uconnect Bluetooth. All we need to do is install a Bluetooth kit, which was purchased from OEMAutopartsCo.com. And included with their kits is our OBD Genie programmer, which programs the vehicle's computer to enable Bluetooth. So as I mentioned, we're in the Jeep Wrangler. Um, this programmer will also work in several other vehicles including the minivan, Grand Cherokee, Durango, Charger, Challenger, a whole laundry list of different vehicles that Chrysler offers with either this system or the hard button system. So let me demonstrate how to remove this panel so we can install the Uconnect Bluetooth module. The first thing we're going to want to do here in the Wrangler is remove four seven millimeter screws. Then we're gonna to wanna to remove the power window switch if you have it. Just kind of give a little tug and disconnect the connector that's on the right side by pressing in the little tab. That'll give you access to the last seven millimeter screw down here. Now this whole thing here, this dash panel or what they call a bezel will just pop out now. That'll now give you access to the four seven millimeter screws that hold in your radio. We can shut the vehicle off at this point. And go ahead and remove the connectors that are behind the radio. Now we want to install the Bluetooth module and it's a pass-through harness here so you just simply plug in your main radio connector into the 22 pin here. This will plug into the back of the radio along with this cable here. This connector here on the opposite side will plug into your Bluetooth module. The only other part you have left, this is for your microphone. So just remove your microphone from the white box and plug it into this little three pin connector. Now you can route this microphone really anywhere you want in the vehicle. Um, in a lot of the bigger SUVs, some people put it on the left A pillar, left windshield panel. A lot of times people put it right on the dash. Some people even put it on top of the mirrors like in the minivans and whatnot. So in this particular case, since this is just a demonstration video, I'm just gonna set it up on the dash. Now you just need to be creative and depending on what kind of vehicle you have, just be, be creative on where you have this installed. Um, here in the Wrangler, a lot of times you can install it behind the HVAC control panel here or the climate control panel. Um, other vehicles, there's a lot more room to kind of tuck it behind the radio. Okay, now that we have this temporarily installed here, for the demo video, we can go ahead and plug in the connectors, include the, including the new 10-pin connector. And slide the radio back into place.
now that everything's buttoned back up and I have the temporarily the microphone just sitting here on top of the dash all we need to do now is run the OBD Genie HFM programmer You'll notice the, the OBD Genie will have a green light, which means it's safe to remove. And you'll also notice your radio will go black and come back up. Now, sometimes you have to turn the vehicle off for 30 seconds and turn it back on for the programming to take. So we'll power it up and see if we need to do that. That basically just resets the car computer. Cancel. So now you notice we have Bluetooth. The phone button is here, which allows you to call, make and receive phone calls, and your voice recognition button is here. If you have the hard button radio, those two buttons would be up here. And if you have the radio without the phone button, be sure to order the correct kit, which would include this little pod for the phone button and the voice recognition button. You can adhere that anywhere there on your dash. So let me demonstrate real quick on how to just pair your phone. This is the RBZ touchscreen radio. Um, it is a little different on the other radios, but I'll just show you just a quick demonstration. Ready. Set up. Select one of the following. Device pairing, confirmation prompts, select phone, select audio device, language, emergency, towing assistance, SMS incoming message announcement, voice training, or reset. Device pairing. Do you want to pair a device, delete a device, or list paired devices? Pair a device. Refer to www.jeep.com forward slash uconnect for a list of supported Bluetooth devices. Please say a four digit PIN number. One, two, three, four. Pen code one, two, three, four. Is this correct? Yes. Please say the name of the device after the beep. Doug's phone. Adding. Doug's phone. Is this correct? Yes. Assign a priority level between one and seven. One is the highest priority. One. Doug's phone. Set to priority one. Is this correct? Yes. Start pairing procedure on device. See device manual for instructions. Select Bluetooth on your phone. So see it'll say hands free or you connect. Enter in the pin. In this case I said one, two, three, four. Pairing complete. The pairing's now complete, as it mentioned. Doug's phone is connected, ready. Cancel. At that point, you could start making phone calls or receiving phone calls right through your Bluetooth-enabled phone through the Bluetooth system. You'll notice down here your uh, battery life and signal bar, which is great. This also supports Bluetooth streaming audio, this kit, and most of the radios, anything past 2007. So come check us out at obdgenie.com. We've got a lot of really cool programmers for your vehicle. OEMAutopartsCo.com carries the kit that you need to enable Bluetooth, and they also can include the OBD Genie with their kit. Be also sure to check the advertisement for compatibility um, there are different kits for radios that have the phone button versus not a phone button. As I mentioned, that little pod would be included if you don't have a phone button. So uh, just check the compatibility and make sure you get it right or, or give us a call and uh, we'll be able to help you guys out. Thanks for watching.